Here in Isaiah 32 and verse 1, Behold, a king shall reign in righteousness, and princes shall rule in judgment, and a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind, and a covert, a shelter from the tempest. He says, and a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind, from the torment, from the turmoil and strife, and a shelter from the tempest. A man. Not a system of government, but a man shall be that hiding place. So that's really where I've taken my title from, this message, the hiding place. And the first thing we see here in these verses, 1 and 2, is that this hiding place is found in a king of righteousness. As we consider those words and look at them as they pertain to the Lord Jesus Christ, that's exactly what the message of Scripture is. Where is righteousness to be found? How is it that sinners can ever hope to have a standing with a holy God, knowing and acknowledging our sin before Him? Well, that hiding place is to be found in a king of righteousness. You know, when the greatest evils befall any who are the Lord's, and they will, Just because we're the Lord's doesn't mean we're spared from evil. But even as it says in Psalm 23, Yea, though I walk through the valley of what? The shadow of death. I'll fear no evil. You learn to rest when that evil comes because you know whose hand it has come through. Nothing touches any one of the Lord's but what comes through the Redeemer's hands. And it's not to punish It's to correct. All of these things, even when He brings them, it's to drive us to Him. In the wind, where does it drive you? It drives you to the man who is that refuge. In the rain and the storm, where does it drive you? To the man. To this one who has established all righteousness. 